And um, the nominator um, was his principal, Steve Swantek, and he could not be here today. However, Dr. Sandstead has a citation, and much of what is on the citation is taken from the nomination. And so we will read that, and we'd ask Sam to come up. Citation Award, 1996. Oh, that's both like cultural area. <laughs> 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 1966 uh, Educator Award. Be it hereby known to the citizens of North Dakota and the United States that Sam, Mr. Sam Johnson is awarded the North Dakota Department of Public Instruction's 1996 Martin Luther King Jr. Educator of the Year Award for exemplifying the ideals and aspiration of this nation's great civil rights leader. Mr. Johnson, as a media specialist and English teacher at Devil's Lake Public Schools, has consistently taught and modeled the principles espoused by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Sam Johnson has created and distributed quality resource materials throughout the schools in our state, which have assisted teachers and students to celebrate the contributions of Dr. King. Mr. Johnson has also created special readings, writing, and research activities as an additional means of emphasizing the significance of Dr. The significance of Dr. King and the Civil Rights Movement. Sam Johnson has orchestrated school and district-wide celebration of Black Heritage Month by creating promotional materials and activities for teachers. In addition, he's extended his efforts beyond the school and into the community. As a member of the Devil's Lake Region Arts Council, Mr. Johnson has brought the Mixed Blood Theater to the community to share the dream with students, parents, and community <coughs> members. As an outspoken champion for the principles of Dr. King, Mr. Johnson has written a number of newspaper columns and articles supporting Dr. King's belief, quote, that people can and do make a difference that we are responsible for ourselves and each other, that change can take place if active, actively, though not violently, pursued, and that we can make our dreams come true." Unquote. Sam Johnson's dedication and vision embraces the spirit of Martin Luther King Jr. Educator of the Year Award. In recognition of the work of Sam Johnson, this citation award is made on Friday, February 6, 1996. Dr. Wayne Sam Smith states with Lieutenant, and I have a sign. This is a plaque in recognition of Sam's contributions to Martin Luther King Day and for all of the efforts he's put in this.
my extended family here also, Lucille and Jerry Hennessy. So there are, there are many people who, of course, contribute to who we are. And if I was in my power, I would like to, of course, conjure forth many teachers that have a very important impact on my life. Going back to the elementary teachers that I had at Wilder and West Elementary in Grand Forks, where I grew up in the early 60s, to my junior high teachers from Fairfield, California in the mid-60s, uh, my senior high teachers in uh, Maryland, just outside of Washington, D.C., during that period of time, I was in the late 60s and early 70s, and my college and university professors from the University of North Dakota, uh, one of my friends and neighbors, Herb Boswell, I think is here, and there are many others, of course, that, uh, that have a tremendous impact on our lives. As teachers, I, I sometimes think that we forget really the impact that we do have on the students and young people that we teach on a daily basis. Certainly, Dr. King uh, is one of the great teachers of all time. And uh, you know, back in 1956, there was a black woman who refused to move to the back of the bus, Rosa Parks. And uh, she was indignant, indignant as a result, and uh, her human dignity was taken away from her. And a young uh, minister at that time, Martin uh, King, uh, organized the uh, Montgomery boycott, the bus boycott, which was really the beginning of the civil rights movement as we know it. And he said, we will not be second class citizens will not take a back seat. And although uh, I was not around in Montgomery at that time, I was a youngster, nine years later I did have the opportunity to spend a week in Montgomery when my father was taking some training uh, there. And as a nine-year-old, or I guess maybe 11-year-old at that time, um, the impact was tremendous upon me. And those images are still etched in my mind when I recall the tremendous poverty that we saw at that time. The signs that said for blacks only, for whites only. These are memories that I have, and of course, learn from. And I wasn't there in the summer of 1963 when Martin Luther King gave his very famous I Have a Dream speech on a hot August day in Washington, D.C., but I've heard that speech many times before, and I still continue to be moved by it and learn from the words of that particular speech. And I wasn't there in 1964 when he received his Nobel Peace Prize but I still feel very strongly the words that he echoed when he accepted that speech. And in that speech, he said that I accept this award with an abiding faith in America and the audacious faith in the future of mankind. I refuse to accept the view that my, mankind is so tragically bound to the starless midnight of racism and war and that the bright daybreak of peace and brotherhood can never become a reality. I believe that what self-centered man has done, other-centered man can undo. And I still believe that we shall overcome. And I wasn't there, of course, when he was assassinated in 1964, uh, summer 68, I'm sorry, but we did move to Washington, D.C. just a few short months after that assassination. And again, I remember very vividly the cardboard shacks and the plywood hovels of the resurrection city that was happening at that time and it was uh, again a civil rights movement, a very peaceful a movement to bring attention to the <coughs> poverty, the impoverished people uh, of America and I had the opportunity to participate in some of the peace movements that happened in the late 60s while we were Washington, living in Washington DC and all of these things that Martin Luther King said and did uh, had an impact on my life and I hope I am able to convey those to my students when I worked with them. Uh, Mr. King was indeed a great teacher. He taught us many things. He taught us that people can and do make a difference. We do that every day as teachers. Uh, he taught us that we are responsible for ourselves as well as for those around us, each other. And he taught us that change can take place if actively, though not violently pursued, and that we can make dreams come true. That indeed we can learn from our differences to see really how similar we are accept and understand those differences much as we have as a theme here today. So I, I am very grateful for this award and I want to let you know that I promise to continue to earn this award uh, by teaching and, and living the principles of Dr. Martin Luther King. Thank you.